guys this is Uriel and welcome back to my channel if you're not subscribed to this channel this will be the best time for you to click on that subscribe button below and also turn on your notification bell so you've seen on the thumbnail already what we'll be talking about today so we'll be talking about the population honest review like what are the bad things that this population has done to a couple number of people probably on facebook on the internet and in real life like in real sense mm -hmm. so all of this review put together will help you know if purple is the right lotion for you to choose at this junction of your lifetime or if purple is the lotion for you to see at the market and just pass by at this junction of your lifetime so what is purple uh sorry it's on the wrong side i don't know what to do this anyway so this is what purple lotion looks like and this particular one i'm holding is the medium size so let's get to check the ingredients um the active ingredients written on it um i think it's papaya but let's just read what the producer said say purple lotion provides your skin with a burst oil radiance sorry oh purple lotion provides your skin with a burst of radiance with all the benefits of papaya so it means the key ingredient here is papaya uh, before i proceed this is papaya this is purple in case if you want to know that's the fruits purple so um then the purple has face cream has tube has body oil has shower gel and so on like that um it has body soap too so just for me to keep you posted we're going to give review of all of this yes we're going to give review of all of this as long as you subscribe to this channel and like this video so much later i'll be doing a video on the oil on the tube and on the shower gel so please subscribe to this channel if you find this video helpful there's this friend of mine there was a time i wanted for me to see a lotion for him and it was like you will please anything that contains purple works so perfectly well on my skin it's best that you identify that wonderful fruit that works amazingly for you my advice no? okay let's go back to reading then it said a powerful combination of antioxidants like vitamin c vitamin e and beta carotene which are highly effective in combating skin aging wow. which is exfoliating properties for pore lotion reduces brown spots and its regenerating moisturizing property helps to smooth the texture of your skin and make your complexion even more luminous and the skin is soft and clean wow all of this only for pollution well before i move to my own review let me just see if there's any important thing you need to um listen to that's written on this okay well to me those are the basic information that you should know that is written on the continent now it's time for me to confirm what what's not what or what what a large number of people on the internet agrees that purple lotion fades away stretch mark i do not mean clean away i just said it away this large number of people that say purple fade away stretch marks i don't know what to say about them but that's their own review about it and i've seen a couple of that comment on facebook a lot i get that kind of comment on facebook group a lot anytime i decided to talk about or anytime i decide to talk about the purple lotion now let's come back a bit i think or i know that purple lotion is good for light skin if you're not light skin please do not try out this lotion if you try out the lotion you're going to get your skin ruined at the end of the day so please do not just stick to whatever lotion or maybe probably i might get to talk about another lotion on this channel that you might just buy the idea of that lotion and start being a fan of the lotion but purple lotion for somebody that is not light skin stay away even if you're light skin and has found a bleaching level stay away please you would not want to regret buying this lotion you don't want to waste your 1000 something or 1000 or something so if you're a light skin person and you don't want to tune your skin you just want to maintain that light glow you have to dilute the purple with rose water i'm going to drop a video on rose water i'm going to drop a link on this video talking about rose water so you get to understand the importance of rose water and what benefit rose water will do to this lotion for you now let's reverse back a bit I was talking about purple lotion being used by fair people. If you use it as a fair person, you're going to grow, your skin is going to look fine, you're going to tune up a bit, just a little, not too much. But in some people, you know some people, their own skin, 
if something is doing jeje jeje for other people, you just blow up for them. So in some people, it's been to lighten you like um, let's say three shades, two to three shades. Yes, it works like that in some people. But the other set of people, it's just going to lighten up your skin like a shade. And then if you don't want to lighten up, just want to be glowing your skin, dilute it with rose water. It can be combined with a face cream if you choose to. But there's one special other thing about the face cream that I'll be talking about in another video. I've not done the video yet. So. Don't start going uh, around my videos and start looking for it. I've not done the video yet, but definitely I'm going to do that video because I have to share this with you guys. Now, let's also reverse back a little to those people that say purple face stretch mark. Whatsoever ingredients they are putting in, calm down. If you're a light skin person and then you have this kind of stretch mark that was caused by a reaction of, of your cream or that was caused by one thing or the other, Purple lotion, papaya is very very good. It has anti um, purple lotion has antioxidant. So what will happen is, and it also has some ingredients that exfoliate a little. So what will happen is, those your stretch marks that are a bit dark, that are a bit ugly, to help lighten them up and to make them look fresh. That's what you call purple lotion fading out the stretch marks on your skin. Now you might want to combine this lotion with oil if you know you're not a professional polymer. Please do not put the purple lotion because if you do, uh, yeah, 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 yeah. I really will not be here to tell you sorry. So if you're not a professional, do not promise purple lotion. Do not make purple lotion as your base. Trust me, if you do, you might go wrong and you just uh, you just get to a situation that you say skincare, skincare gone wrong. I proceed and talk about the side effects or the bad thing that purple has done to so a couple of people in real life, online and everywhere I've heard about this solution. Let me advertise the product. See this is my products. This is my products and I'm proud about it. It's now that approved. Rose MP African Black Soap. We need distributors all around the country. So if you want to join the gang, join the gang. If you want to buy our skincare products, also call on me. The number will be somewhere around the screen so you can get in touch with me. Yes, I want to be your friend. Yes, if you want to be my friend, you are free to come. I'll drop my contact so we could chat on WhatsApp. Please just know that if you're going to start talking to me on WhatsApp, don't come and ask me for it. Okay, so back to the lotion. Like I said, if you not if you're not a professional pro mixer, do not try to promix the pop lotion because your clients might end up having stretch marks or probably green veins. And I'm very serious about this. If you know you do not know how to promix professionally, do not promix the pop lotion. It's better for you to just use the pop lotion either. Don't come and say, okay, this uh, pop lotion is lightening me. Another thing I'd like you to know before we proceed is do not waste your time, energy, thinking because the purple lotion lightens you, it can be a base cream for a whitening lotion. You cannot promix purple into being a whitening lotion because this lotion is designed for light skin and if you're even promixing it, it's going to give this person um, intense undertone, like yellow tone. So if you want to promix this, it's definitely for lightening or probably a yellow CC lotion. It's better like that. Don't let anybody talk you into telling you that purple lotion will make a whitening cream. Of course, maybe one or two people might have said it or maybe you've seen where somebody has done it. But trust me, this cannot give a white tone. It cannot. It can only give a yellow undertone. Point number two is consistent usage of the purple lotion in some people might cause knuckles, especially those dark people, like I said. So if, you, if you're a dark person or a caramel skin person and you use the purple lotion, you're going to have knuckles. It's not going to be a uniform um, fairness. It's not going to be a uniform glowing skin. That's why I always say the dark people or the caramel skin, you don't need it. If you are fair, you have to be fair. Yellow, Opa. That's how you have to be before the purple lotion will be so perfect on you. Now let's look down on the side too. Um, the other thing you can have in some people, if you know your skin is very sensitive, you might end up having green vein, very light ones. Purple doesn't give intense green vein, just very light green vein. If you've not subscribed to this channel, quickly subscribe to my channel because one day I'm going to be talking of your favorite lotion or that lotion that will be so awesome for you as a pro mixer. Click on that subscribe button and turn on the notification bell. See you in my next video. Bye.